Let's put some foo foo on there. Some what? Foo foo, some uh, some blocking powder. Sorry. Foo foo. Blocking powder. Blocking Dyed powder. Coat? Nice hair today, huh? What's wrong with my hair? Looks like a little kid that wakes up on Saturday morning to watch cartoons. Yeah, pretty much. Will did good. He's been painting for me for a while now. He's doing an awesome job, but I want him to be exactly like me, the best in the world. Without the arrogance. Well, I don't know about it. So do you want the 150 or two? So why is it when I point out a fact it's arrogant? I need a 150, please. Because you shouldn't have to tell the people that are watching. The people that, that are what? The people that are watching should already know you're that good. So we're going to go ahead and waste, because there's there's body men right now all over the world are starving gonna, that would love to have that little piece of... Are you going to send them that piece? Well, it's cutting down nice out here. It's not cutting down so nice in there. But it's, you can see it tapering out here. The, the puddle is right there. Yep. If you press too hard, you'll push right down in there and pull that guide coat up out of there. Well, there's another layer of primer, but just so maddening. See that? Just low as hell in there. Okay, get me blown off there. Uh, I'm gonna mix up a little bit of glaze to put on there. I hate Mopar deck lids. I don't care if it's Cuda Challenger, Charger, Ruiner, or GTX. I don't care. They're a to do. This particular one is really flat, but has a low spot. So I'm gonna go over and mix up a little bit of plastic filler with some polyester, catalyze it, put it on the deck lid so that I can sand it down, and then we can reprime that area and be able to block that thing out to perfection. Look at it, you can see it sunk right into the hole. I'm not sure the exact reason behind these deck lids being so possessed. I don't know if it's because there's not much in the way of reinforcement between the inner structure and the outer. If they stretch over the years, if they've been popped before and we just don't know it. I don't know what contributes to it. It's, it is a phenomenon. We want to feel a high spot there, not a low spot. Now look at this. Yeah, I can Look at how it. it fell into it. That's how deep that was right through there. And we're just gonna barely let the block touch that mud. See how that starts to feather back that there? Very nice. That feather's nice, but you mm -hmm. can still tell you got too much material in here. So we're gonna go to a fresh piece of 80 because we want the sandpaper to do the work, not muscle. And that's easy for you. <laughs> Sorry. Now feel that. Now go over the top of the center of it. It's as perfect as you're gonna get to feather into the old body work. That's where you're gonna get and the rest you're gonna bridge. I'm calling it right there. Uh, go ahead and blow that off. I'll put a little bit more on that end down there. Blow it that way so we can blow the shop out that direction. That was the plan. I know it was, Willie. Willie came crawling back to me a few weeks ago. Kinda cool. 